Hello everyone, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the Postman collections. So let's begin. So what are the Postman collections? Basically, Postman collections are used to organize and structure your API request. For example, if you are working on a project, then your main collection or folder would be the project name. And if there are multiple modules or subsections of that project, then you will have to create the multiple subsections or module based collections. Now let's move to the Postman and see how we can create the collections in the Postman. There are multiple ways to create a collection in the Postman. So the first way is to create a collection is from the launch pad. Just click on this create a collection and then you can just provide a name and then you just click on the create. The second way is to create the collection is from the left side panel. Just click on create collection then again provide the name and create. The third way to create a collection in the Postman is to click on the new collection and provide the details and click create. The fourth way to create a collection in the Postman is to click on the new, then click on collection, provide the name and click on the create. You can also create a collection while creating a request. So let's see how can you do that. Click on new, click on request, provide the request name. I'm giving it a sample request for the time being. Then you can see that you cannot save this request without creating a collection. Just click on create collection. You can directly give a name. I'm giving name as a sample collection here. Click on the stick mark and your collection is done. Now this is asking you either you want to save this request in that sample collection or not. So if you want to save that, you can click on the save collection button. Now you can see that the collection has been created and it has one request over here, which we created as a sample request. Now take some sample APIs to create the collections and organize those APIs properly. So for this tutorial, I will take the sample APIs from the two websites which we covered in the previous sessions. So just for the reminder, we used instantwebtools.net and we also use the dummy.restapiexample.com. For that, I need to copy this URL, open this URL in the browser, paste the URL here, and you see the multiple employee related APIs here. Now let's take the first API, copy the URL from here. Now go back to the postman and create a request for that. Click a request here, provide a URL, Click send. Yes, you have successfully executed the first API. Now save this API. Click on save. Provide the name of the request. I am naming it as employee list. Now I have to create a collection for that. Click on the create collection. I am naming this as employee project. Save this. Save to employee project. Now you can see that employer project collection has been created with the first request, which is called as employer list. Now what we'll do is that we'll pick another API and do the same thing. Just go back to the documentation. Now copy the second API and go back to the postman. Click on this new request, provide the URL, click on send. Yes, now you can see that it has been executed successfully. Now save this request, provide the name of the request. I am naming it as employee details and saving it to the employee project. So now you can see that my employer project has now two APIs. If I close these two, now someone can easily see that which project has which APIs. Now this is very much organized and structured and one can easily find the APIs. Now let's see some features here. Click on three dots. You can share this collection. If you want to rename this collection, you can rename it as well. If you want to add it, you can add it. If you want to add a request, add a folder, or if you want to duplicate it or export it, you can do a multiple options here. So don't worry about these options. We will cover each and every options in the upcoming sessions. Furthermore, if your APIs are related to the different modules, you can add the folders and place those APIs in that. Just click on this one, click on add folder, 
So I'm giving a name as employee list APIs. Click on create. Now just drag this one and place this one in this folder. Similarly, right click on this one, click on add, provide the name as employee detail APIs. Click on create. Now expand these folders. Now you can see that they are logically organized and structured. And tomorrow, if your manager or lead wants you to execute a particular APIs from a particular module or project, you can easily execute those particular APIs. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you learned something today. See you in the next lecture.